Hey, it's the Wing Chun Kid here on the Wing Chun Kid channel and in this video we're going to show you the three tips on how to punch properly. Very important to punch properly because you need to have safety in order to prevent injury and also you want to do what Bruce Lee said, right? Punch with power, speed, accuracy and non-telegraphability. Alright, so we're going to show you how to do just that with these three tips. Here we go. Alright, so we have a 150 pound bag here and it's one of the heavier bags you can get. So I'm just gonna demonstrate how to get a nice punch, okay? Okay. All right, so what did I do there? I'm gonna show you five tips of how to make your punch stronger. Hey, welcome to How to Punch Properly. Now before we begin, we're going to talk about safety in training. A lot of people break their hands and, or they cut their hands and it takes a long time to heal and it just downs your training time. So make sure that you have the proper equipment. Here's some things that you might consider you want to get if you want to start training how to punch properly. Uh, you can start with, uh, beginners can start with a nice heavy glove, like a 16 ounce glove like this, which has a lot of padding and a lot of protection. So even if you punch your bag, you're not going to hurt your hands or your fingers as, as easily. Okay, once you get comfortable with this, you can graduate to a uh, something with less padding, like an M8 made glove like this, which has less padding, um, and uh, it still protects your knuckles. All right. The easiest thing that I see from uh, beginners, they punch stuff, is they start to break the skin on your knuckles, and that's very common. And this doesn't hurt that much. It just the skin comes off and then it bleeds, and it's just annoying because you have to wait until it heals before you can train again, right? So just protect it at first and build your knuckles up slowly before you can do bare knuckle punching. I've been training for years and now I have leathery knuckles and it doesn't, doesn't break, all right? Because we have to train for years to get that, all right? So um, after that, you can graduate and do bare knuckles, but don't punch that hard, all right? So that's some safety precautions you need to be aware of before you start training. Also, you need to have good equipment uh, have a bag that doesn't um, rip your skin, especially if you're doing uh, bare knuckle training. All right, this one's a little bit more smoother surface, so it doesn't um, actually rip your hands off. There's some bags that are rough and they easily can easily rip your hand. Uh, you can train with the bob. The bob's also pretty rough on your hands. So I um, suggest uh, another thing you can do is to wear just a bicycle glove or a weightlifting glove um, after uh, the uh, MMA glove something thinner after that before you go into bare knuckle. All right, so those are some safety precautions and make sure you have that in mind before you train. The first three things you need to know in order to deliver a proper punch is your stance. So how do you know what's a good stance? Well, here's the thing that you can do to make sure that you have a proper stance. Put your feet together first like this, side by side, then pivot on your heel 90 degrees, then pivot your toe, then pivot on your heel and then adjust it 45 degrees a little bit and then bounce it around a little bit and make it feel comfortable. Okay, so what you're doing is just doing one, two, three, and then 45 degrees and that should be nice shoulder width and that should be a very comfortable um, boxing stance. All right, we adopted more narrow stance for street fighting because of things that might be slippery on the ground like soup cans or things that uh, might make you slip and fall, so you don't want to have a super wide stance like that, which will cause slipping, or grass is slippery too, or dirt. So you want to have a little bit more narrow stance. All right, now you should be able to squat up and down very comfortably in this position. Okay, why stance important is because when you're delivering a punch, most of your power comes from your legs and from the ground, not actually from your upper body. So with a good strong stance, you're going to be able to deliver the power and the technique that you need. Okay, once you've got your stance ready, now you want to have your hands in the right position. We're going to have this in a defensive position. We're going to, first of all, imagine you're putting on a backpack. So you round up the back muscles. You can round them out like this. Okay, this creates a curve in your back that allows you to deliver stronger punches. You want to put your fists near your chin to protect them and your elbows near the, your ribs to protect those as well. Okay, so this is your stance so once again. One, two, three, 45 degrees, a little bit. Check your stance by going up and down. It should be comfortable to do a squat. Then bring your hands up like this. Wrap it around, round out your back, uh, fist to your chin, and your elbows nice and close to your ribs. So that's your fighting stance. All right, 
the next important part about delivering a proper punch is rotation. What I mean by rotation is the rotation of your whole body coordinated from your feet out to the ends of your knuckles in order to create one cohesive movement. All right, so we're gonna start the rotation from our toe and ankle. Imagine you're putting out a cigarette butt with your toe. That's the motion that you want. Okay, next we're gonna rotate our hips. So just imagine you're swinging your hips like this. Okay, and then after that, we're gonna rotate our shoulders. Okay, we're gonna throw out your shoulder like this. Now we combine three of them slow motions, it's gonna look like this. Ankle, hips, shoulder. And then the shoulder will punch out the, uh, the fist. So most of the power is actually generated by your lower body and then connected through your waist and delivered through your arm so that actually your arm should be relaxed and the power is coming from your legs. So from this angle, you can see, it's gonna be this one, this one, this one. All right, so we're actually doing a punch, okay? That's the kind of speed that you want. All right, so feet, hips, shoulders, and then this should be relaxed and straight. So. So we've talked about the proper stance, the proper body rotation. Now let's talk about the proper hand position. This is very important because a lot of people in street fights don't have the proper hand position and they end up breaking their wrist or breaking their hands in the street fight and it's over. All right, even boxers have to protect their hands with wraps so that they don't get their hands broken. And they even wear gloves, right? So proper hand position is, first of all, close your, close your fingers like this, then tuck in your thumb. Right, so close your fingers and tuck in your thumb. Make sure your thumb is outside your fingers, not inside your fingers. Okay, make sure your thumb is not open like this because if you hit something, you might get caught and easily break your thumb. You can either tuck it in here, some people punch like this, this is fine, or you can tuck it in here. Next is the angle of your wrist when it meets the contact point. Now imagine this is the wall, all right? You don't want to hit the target with the angle with your wrist up because that will easily break your wrist or with wrist down because that will break your wrist too. So make sure that this is nice and straight so that it hits nice and straight without overextending your wrist. Your contact point should be your knuckles, either these two knuckles or these three knuckles, right at the end, okay? That should be your contact point. Make sure that your contact point is not these front knuckles, but it's these knuckles because this is where you're strong and this is where you're weak, all right? So if you're punching, you got a rotation, you got your stance, and then you got a right hand position. That's how you deliver a nice, effective, and proper punch. Hey, thanks for watching this video on how to punch properly. If you like this video and you want to get more lessons like this, make sure you check out some of my other lessons here. And if this is first time here, make sure you click the subscribe button right here to get the latest and best Wing Chun and martial arts, Tai Chi, and self-defense videos here on YouTube. All right, we'll see you soon in the next video.